Well, certainly this is one of the worst outbursts of uh, Coptic uh, anger that we have seen since the revolution, Stephen. Uh, this protest, as you had mentioned, had started out as a peaceful protest advancing uh, onto the state television building. Uh, but suddenly the protesters, as they were uh, going through an underpass, came under an attack uh, by residents of the neighborhood who were pelting them with stones, with empty bottles. And by the time uh, this rally uh, which had already come under attack, had arrived at the state television building. These protesters uh, immediately began a confrontation with the security forces, with the military forces and the police outside the state TV building. But to give you an idea, in, 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 in terms of the bigger picture, this really has been a culmination of a rather intense week, but rather in Upper Egypt. But this anger clearly now reaching the capital on Friday. There have been scuffles between Coptic uh, between Coptic Christians and Muslims uh, in Itfu, uh, in the province of Aswan, uh, after uh, Muslim uh, people there brought down or destroyed what they said was an unlicensed uh, church. This obviously sparked the anger of the Christian community here, sent uh, shockwaves through the community, uh, people demanding the immediate sacking of the governor of Aswan, but we haven't heard anything from the government, which led to more anger reaching the capital, and this is exactly Exactly why people had called for this protest in the first place, Stephen. And so let's let's go down the road a little more context, Raria. Um, which Coptic group do they belong to? Who are the organisers? Uh, three questions in one. And how much do we know about the Coptic community? Well, this specific protest was called for by uh, the coalition of Maspiro Youth. Maspiro is the uh, namesake of the Egyptian state TV building. And the reason why they called themselves the Maspiro Youth Coalition is because uh, they had started a sit-in or were responsible for a sit-in back in uh, May and April uh, when uh, the Coptic community was protesting yet another attack here uh, in Egypt. There have been several attacks targeting uh, churches and houses of worship targeting the Christian community uh, in Upper Egypt, in Northern Egypt, in uh, the capital, in the uh, neighborhood of Mbaba. So uh, just to give you an idea, this was a coalition that sprung up as a result uh, of the protest movement against uh, these attacks. Now, uh, as a result of these renewed violence with the government not responding strongly enough, as the Coptic community here says, they have called for this march to send a clear message to the ruling military council. Now, the unfortunate scenes that we're seeing here in Cairo, really, you, as you probably can see behind me, uh, these grounds that had witnessed Egyptians united uh, in their fight against Hosni Mubarak during the revolution, this very same live shot where you've seen protesters chanting, the people want uh, the downfall of the regime, is now witnessing uh, intense confrontations, as you can probably see behind me, between protesters and security forces, with people saying the people want the downfall of Field Marshal Tantawi. So certainly a very bleak turn of events in post-revolution Egypt, Stephen. But the fact of the matter is the anger in the Coptic community has been on the rise since the revolution. All the points, uh, all the uh, fingers of blame now pointing towards a government uh, that the Coptic community has uh, said has been more than just ineffective in addressing their grievances, in rebuilding their destroyed churches, uh, in simply holding to account those who have been repeatedly attacking them.